Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obueda. And before that came forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. I ordain you a prophet unto the nation. We're going to pray this morning that the Spirit of God will give us clarity of what He wants us to do in this season. I'd like us to lift up our voice and pray in the Spirit that the Holy Ghost will give us a clarity of what He wants us to do in this season. Clarity of what he wants us to do in this season. Clarity of what God will have us do in this season. Let's pray for clarity of what God will have us do in this season. In this season of our life, in this season of our ministry, what, what the call of God on your life in this season. There are different seasons, but there is something God wants you to do in this season. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's pray, Lord, your will for me in this season, I will connect with your will in this season. Whatever the will of God is for you in this season, we'll pray for manifestation of it. Whatever the will of God is for you for this season, that you will connect with his will for this season. I am connected to the will of God. I am connected to the plan of God. The will of God for you in this season that you will make the connection, you will stay with the connection. In the name of Jesus, amen. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 6, it said, Then said I, ha, Lord God, be right now, I'm going to pray against intimidation. You know, sometimes people can be intimidated or knowing to them. One of the signs of intimidation is fear. When someone is afraid of something, it means he or she has been intimidated in that area. We're going to pray against any form of intimidation, against your vision, against your life, against your calling, against your assignment. Let's begin to pray against every form of intimidation, every self-imposed intimidation. Maybe something you look at, you said, I can't do this. I don't have what it takes. We're going to pray against intimidation. Intimidations are limitations. We're going to pray against anything that represents the voice of intimidation around you. We'll reject the voice of intimidation in the name of Jesus. Whatever that represents intimidation towards our vision, towards our dream, towards the things that God has called us to do, in the name of Jesus, we come against intimidation. We come against intimidation. Mm. 
every form of intimidation. Every form of intimidation we come against it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we uproot the root of intimidation, the root of limitation. In the name of Jesus, amen. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 7. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 7, he said, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I'm a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whosoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. We're going to pray for boldness. Boldness to step into our purpose. Boldness to carry out our purpose. There are a lot of people that are not bold towards what God has instructed them to do. We're going to pray for the boldness to step out and do what God has called us to do. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice right now. Boldness. Boldness in what God has called you to do. What God has anointed you to do. We'll pray for boldness right now. Boldness in the name of Jesus. Boldness to speak the will of God, to declare the purpose of God. I'm walking in supernatural boldness. You need boldness to step out and build a multi billion dollar company. You need boldness to step out and believe God to pay off that home. You need boldness. There is unusual boldness that come on a person to produce uncommon results. Boldness. Receive boldness in. Partition, lack of you the Bible said the righteous is as bold as lion. The righteous is as bold. The righteous is bold. The righteous is bold. The righteous is bold. No room for intimidation, no room for rejection, no room for frustration. You have boldness, boldness to minister to the sick, boldness to lay hands on the sick and expect the miraculous, boldness to believe God for miracles and signs and wonders. You can be in the realm of the miraculous without boldness. We pray for boldness right now. The boldness to speak the word of God. The boldness to declare the counsel of God. The boldness to declare the will of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mandros Ketolobo Santa la Baba Baba Baba. Windows Ketolibla Kada la Baba Baba Baba. Libo la Baba 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 Baba. Liba Shokondo Libla Kada Baba Baba. We have boldness to speak the counsel of God, to speak the purpose of God, to speak the will of God. Rikorobo Shaka Baba Baba. Rikorobo Seketolibla Gada. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One of the keys to the success of Elijah was boldness. Elijah was bold to speak, bold to declare. He was so bold concerning the ability of God that he spoke with so much uh, energy that people could tell that this is a man of God. Boldness. As a child of God, you need boldness. Boldness to break forth into new realms of operation. Boldness to see the impossible. There are things you said, I can't do this. I don't have the resources to do this, but you see, when you have boldness, you can do them. When you have boldness, I like us to look at Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10, he said, See, I have this day said thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to root out. You have been sent over the nations, over the kingdom to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. He said, I, I've, I've said thee over the nations. We're going to pray this morning. Lord, whatever you have set over me, whatever you have set me over, any area of calling, God, I've set you over it. 
that you fulfill the calling. You fulfill the purpose. You fulfill the assignment. This is the year to fulfill assignment. This is the year to carry out the things God has spoken to you. I like you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy that I will fulfill my purpose this year. The things that God wants me to do this year, I'm going to do them. There shall be no carryover of anything that God has instructed me to do. Lift up your voice. Whatever God wants you to do in 2019, you will carry it out. Whatever God instructed you to do, every instruction from God will be carried out to later this year. Whatever God instructed you to do, Everything the Lord called you to do, it to be manifest, it to be made manifest. The manifold wisdom of God will be released through you this year. The manifold wisdom of God is Sotakayata. The manifold wisdom of God is coming out of you to declare the purposes of God, to declare the counsel of God, to declare the will of God, the manifold wisdom of God. By the manifold wisdom of God, you operate in an uncommon understanding. I have the manifold wisdom of God to carry out the purpose of God, to carry out the will of God in Jesus name we prayed amen in Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 21 Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 21 it said here yet Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 21 yet I have I, I have planted thee a noble vine woolly a right seed how then are that turned into a degenerated plant of a strange vine unto me. You know, sometimes in life, people did what is right. Someone did what is right, but the outcome was wrong. Have you been in that situation before? Where you did what was right, but the outcome was wrong. Now, that is the enemy trying to discourage you from trusting God for good outcome. It happened here. Why did I plant you a noble vine? Why did you turn to me a degenerated plant? Why did you behave this way? Why did you turn out this way? I want to pray right now that every right seed we're sowing this year we're going to reap great results. It will not be turned into a degenerated plan for us. I'd like you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy that your expectation will not be contaminated. Your expectation will not be confused. My expectation this year, my expectation will come into manifestation. Santa Tambalaba, Melunga Brados Ketungo Bosanta Lava Baba, Meluga Pidaco Socama Legada Baba, Raindros Ketolobo Santo Lobo Santa Lava Baba, Lendo de Bosco Contolobo Santa Lava Baba, Lecato Seketo Libla Kama Baba, your expectation will turn out writer, your vision will turn out writer, your seed will produce good result this year. Maco Libra de Seketo Libla Kama Baba. There will be no room for regret this year. There will be no room for disappointment this year. Mount the killer of a prophecy in the name of Jesus. Uh, we shall have manifestation of supernatural help. Likaraba sukuri bakalaba. 
baba lo kinda lebe soko to limra to sakala baba melunga baliga liga bakunda sakaba baba in the name of jesus amen glory be to god I like us look at jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 in Jeremiah 1 verse 11 he said moreover the word of the Lord came unto me saying Jeremiah what seest thou the word of the Lord came to me saying Jeremiah what seest thou and I said I see a rod of an ammo tree verse 12 then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. I was Jeremiah. What do you see? What do you, you know? God is asking you, What do you see for 2019, 2020, 2021, 2030, 2040? What do you see? What can you see? You see, you need to see for God to manifest. He said to Jeremiah, what seest thou? What can you see? Now, let me say this to you. Your picture is important. If you don't see the right things, you won't have the right manifestations. It is important the mental image that governs your thinking. The mental image that governs your thinking will determine the outcome you're going to experience. What do you see? What can you see? What can you see right now? Concerning your job, what do you see? Concerning ministry, what do you see? Concerning your marriage, what do you see? God asked Jeremiah a question. What seest thou? It was not God who saw for Jeremiah. It was Jeremiah that that, that saw the things. He was the one who God said, what can you see? But God was waiting for Jeremiah to have the right picture and then he was going to perfect it. God, what picture do you see about your daughter? Can you see her holy? Can you see her righteous? Can you see her great? Can you see her as a submissive daughter? What picture do you have about your husband? Do you see this man as a useful man, as a wonderful man, as a great lover? What picture do you have? We are going to rip the picture in our mind. And this is why you need to see right. What picture do you have about your wife? We've got to change our pictures next morning. What picture do you have about your son? What picture do you have about your business? We need to have the right picture. God said to Jeremiah, what seest thou? What can you see? You see, God has given us ability to see. And his responsibility is to confirm what we have seen. You see, when you see it, God establish it. And there is someone watching today and someone here today. The Holy Ghost said, what do you see? What do you see? Do you see storm or do you see restoration? Do you see affliction or do you see increase? Do you see limitation or do you see possibilities? What can you see? What can you see concerning your future, concerning your ministry, concerning your marriage, concerning your children? What can you see? You know, the Lord told me something one time. He said, all I needed to do is to believe what I'm telling you. All I needed to do is to believe what I'm telling you. You know, when something is big, we have this tendency to say, well, is it possible? But if it is small, we believe that God can do it. But you need to train yourself to believe God for the impossible. I said, you need to train yourself to believe God for the impossible. God for the impossible. That is what you need to do. You need to train yourself to believe God for outrageous things. You need to train yourself. You see, if you don't train yourself to believe God for big things, you won't come into big things. You need to train yourself to begin to see the impossible becoming possible. You need to train yourself to trust that God can deliver. You need to train yourself. And you train yourself with the word. You train yourself with the word of God to believe God for big things. You know, sometimes God will look at us and say, I wish you could believe me for this. I wish he could believe me for this. What are you believing God for? How big is your dream? 
How strong is your want to? How big is your dream? How big is the vision? And God is looking for visions to partner with. And this morning, the Spirit of God is saying to us, it's time for big pictures. It's time for what? For big pictures. It's time for big pictures. This is what the Holy Ghost will have me say to you. It is time for big pictures. What picture can you see? What picture do you see five years from now? What picture do you see 10 years from now? What kind of picture do you see right now? This morning, someone needs to begin to see better pictures. This morning, someone has here. What picture do you see right now? I prophesy to you that your eye gets be open, your ear gets be open, your mouth gets be open, that you'll be able to see, you'll be able to speak, you'll be able to hear, you'll be able to believe. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you begin to see the things only God can do. What do you see? What do you see? God said to Jeremiah, you have well seen. Jeremiah 1 verse 12, he said, that then said the Lord unto me, thou hast well seen. Then he said, then he said to me, then said to the Lord, thou hast well seen. So God was telling Jeremiah that what he saw was good. The question this morning, are you seeing what God will look at and say, this is good? What you're seeing right now, can God look at you and say that what you have seen is good? Look at Jeremiah here in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. He said, Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. You have seen well. I'm going to bring it to pass. Don't be intimidated by big things. Trust God for the manifestation of big things. Don't be intimidated by big Big things, trust God for the manifestations of big things. I want to say that again. I said, don't be intimidated by big things, but trust God for the manifestation of big things. I want to say that again. I said, don't be intimidated by big things, but trust God for the manifestation of big things. I will say for the last time, don't be intimidated by big things. Trust God for big things. Trust God for big things, and you're going to have the manifestation of big things. Don't be intimidated by big things. Don't be intimidated if they look big. If they look big, it means it's possible. If they look big, it means I can trust God for it. If, if it looks big, if it looks big, it means God wants me to have it. It means God wants me to come into that manifestation. We're prophesying right now. Every self-imposed limitation be broken in the name of Jesus. Every limitation you have placed on yourself, you have told yourself, I can do this, I can handle this. I break the limitations in the name of Jesus. I break the limitation right now. The impossible is available. Oh, that is a word for someone right now. The impossible is available. That is what the Holy Ghost is saying right now. The impossible is available. The impossible is reachable. The impossible is available. The impossible is available. The impossible is available right now. What you consider impossible is not available. What you may consider impossible towards your ministry, towards your vision, I hear the Lord saying, the impossible is available. The impossible is is doable. It can be done. It is possible. Lord, the impossible is available. The impossible is doable. The impossible is now. Lord, the impossible is available. 
Father, every spirit of limitation and spirit of infirmity, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Your vision will not die in the womb of limitation. Your vision will not die in the womb of limitation. Your vision will not die in the womb of frustration. Makila Kalanto. Your vision will not die in the womb of disappointment. Your vision will not die in the womb of disappointment. Your vision will not die in the womb of pain and shame. Malika Rababa. I call for that vision to come alive. In the name of Jesus, I stand with you right now, Makuba Lababa, let your vision come into manifestation. Let your vision come into manifestation. Manifestation of the miraculous. Manifestation of the miraculous in the name of Jesus. Manifestation of the miraculous is upon you. Manifestation of the miraculous is happening to you. Makida Krutosa Kalibra Tosa Kababa. In the name of Jesus, you will see signs and wonders. Signs and wonders is happening right now. Mm. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders happening right now. Signs and wonders happening right now. In the name of Jesus, we we'll prophesy amazing release of the miraculous. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. The impossible is available. The impossible is in manifestation. The impossible will no longer be delayed because it has come into the reality of manifestation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The impossible is available. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll share this scripture briefly with us and we're going to close the meeting. But listen to this. In Jeremiah chapter 2, Verse 21, yet I have planted thee a noble vine, right seed. How, how then I that torn into the degenerated plant of strange vine unto me? I hear the Lord saying, I've given you authority to decide your harvest. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I have given you the authority to decide your harvest. I have given you the authority to decide the outcome of things. I've given you the authority to decide the outcome of things. And in this season, walking in authority will be connected to the revelation knowledge of the goodness of God. You know what the, do you know what the revelation knowledge of God's goodness will do for you? It will produce boldness. It will produce boldness to express authority. The revelation knowledge of the goodness of God will produce the boldness to express authority. And I hear the Lord saying, 
because you're in the place of authority, it's time to speak with expectation. Thank you, Lord. Because you are in the place of authority, it is time to speak with expectation. Because you're in the place of authority, it is time to speak with expectation. Because you're in the place of authority. Authority to break limitations. You have authority. The things happening around you is not expected to subdue you. You are expected to produce testimony out of your storms. Because we are creatures with authority. We are creatures with authority. You have authority to bring forth testimony in storms. No matter what the storm may be right now, no matter what the challenge may be right now, we, we have the authority to bring out testimonies in storms. And hear ye the word of the Lord this morning. Don't consider what you don't have. Consider what you have received. The revelation of the word of God is a great resource. Don't consider what you don't have. Consider what you have received. Consider what you have received because what you have received can multiply. What you have received can increase. And what you have received can lead to greater manifestation of great result. Don't consider what you don't have. Consider what you received. He said the sower went out and sowed seed. Some fell on a rocky ground. You know those seeds were just they just keep falling from different grounds. But finally, God seed that fell on the good ground. Let your heart be the good ground of the word of God. Let your heart, one of your key priorities this year is to make your heart a good ground for the word of God. If your heart is a good ground for God's word, then you can be talking about the hundredfold manifestation. The hundredfold is for a good ground. Thank you, Lord. I said the hundredfold is for a good ground. If your heart is a good ground for the word, it will produce the hundredfold. The hundredfold is for the good ground. So if my heart retains the word of God, it means I'm developing capacity for the manifestation of the hundredfold. I'm developing capacity for the manifestation of the hundredfold. So the first step is to have the word of God in my spirit. With God's word in my spirit, I can produce uncommon results. With God's word in my spirit, I can produce uncommon manifestation. The one of God in my spirit is the key to the rule of life. The word of God in my spirit is the key to the rule of life. It rules life. And the Holy Ghost will have me say this to you as I conclude today. Never you say anymore, I cannot do it. Never say again. I cannot do it. Never say it is not, it's, it's impossible. Never say it's, it is impossible. Never say that, that it is impossible. Never. Whatever you declare impossible becomes your limitation. Whatever you declare possible becomes your bridge to cross over to your destiny. Whatever you declare impossible becomes the limitation. But whatever you declare possible becomes a bridge that links you to your destiny. And this morning, God is linking us up with his word. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray in the spirit as we round up. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my kuri
Lord will pray this morning. Miracle of no manifestation. Miracle of no manifestation. Miracle of now manifestation. Miracles of now manifestation is happening right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Miracle of now manifestation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Every seed you have planted, the harvest is coming speedily. Thank you, Father. Every seed of kindness, love, submission to the will of God, expect manifestation, expect visitation, expect amazing release of wonder, expect. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Someone just got healed on their neck region. You have not been able to turn your neck very well, but now you can do it. Okay, let's go. If you're watching me, just try pulling your neck this way. This way, thank you, Lord. Someone you're watching the broadcast, you've been having some pain with your neck, so try moving it. The power of God is upon that neck, thank you, Lord. There is someone you saw a manifestation on your body, and you're a little bit worried. The Lord said, Affliction will not rise for the second time. Mm. You saw something in your body, you don't like it. Let I cause that infirmity. To die to the roots by the power of God in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, Your target is possible. There is someone you are setting a target two days ago, a target of what you want to do. The Lord said, The target is possible. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That was what the Lord told me. You are writing your targets down, what the target to be. The Lord said, Your target is possible. Thank you, Lord. You know, someone yesterday you were talking to your wife and you said, I know these things are possible. That we're going to have possibility. The Lord said, approved. Approved. <laughs> Yesterday we were talking. The Lord said, approved. Approved. That's the word I saw in the spirit. Approved. You recover your children. Mm. That's the word for someone right now. Mm. You recover your children and you will get to spend more time with them, says the Spirit of the Lord. That's the word for someone right now. The Lord said, you will recover your children. Mm. Thank you, Lord. You will recover your children, and you will get to spend more time with your children, says the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is someone here you were disappointed concerning a particular job, but I hear the Lord saying, I've set something ahead of you and you're going to reap a big harvest. You are disappointed about a particular job. They disappointed you. You thought it could have gone through, but the Lord said there is something ahead of you. Six weeks from now, you have a testimony of a life-changing job. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's a word for someone right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Someone, else, I saw you you, 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 hit your foot on something like your toe was hit on. You know, you're walking and you just hit it on something in your room, and the Lord has healed you. The pain is gone. Thank you, Lord. The pain is gone by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. The pain is gone. Someone has an appointment with their doctor, and hear you the word of the Lord. You will come back with the good news. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You will come back with a good news, says the Spirit of the Lord. I saw someone in the Spirit and you said, you, you, your, your youthful age, you're going to recover it. It's like you give your youthful age to someone, thinking they were going to build with you, but they disappointed you. The Lord said you will recover your youthful age. Those years you give to that relationship, you recover them. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Father. You are here. The Lord has been dealing with you. Listen to this word. 
the Lord has been dealing with you to give a particular level of offering. He has been dealing with you for over three weeks now. But you have had challenge in doing that. The Lord says, I say this to you, your obedience is for your benefit. I don't know who you are. He dropped it in your heart and said, Do, but you have been having real challenge obeying because of where you are right now financially. Thank you, Lord. He said, in your obedience comes your reward. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lamb of God. Obedience is everything. <laughs> Obedience is everything. If God is going to kick this thing forward, move it forward, obedience is everything. He has been saying that to you. We'll receive the grace to obey. Amen. We'll receive the grace to obey. We'll receive the grace to obey. <laughs> we'll receive the grace to obey. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We we'll receive the grace to obey. God will never tell you something that benefits him. He tells you things that benefit you. Whatever God asks us to do is not for his benefits. <laughs> Every instruction that God is giving to us is for our benefits, not for his benefits. God is not about to be blessed. God is not broke. But whenever God gives an instruction, it's for your benefit. It's for your benefit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 The sale will happen sooner than you think. A sale. I saw the word sale in the Spirit. Transfer of sales. That's what I saw. Transfer of sales. And the sale will go through. The sale will go through. Thank you, Lord. It will go through. Supernaturally, the hand of God is going to touch that man. And he will give you a call. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I said, the hand of God is going to touch that man. He will give you a call. Something that's happening right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we'll give you praise. We'll give you praise. We'll give you praise. There is someone here, you have been feeling very tired for the past three weeks. You feel so exhausted. You felt so drained. And you're easily tired, then you sleep. Then you try to sleep again, but you feel this weakness in your body. I want to curse the infirmity. In the name of Jesus, you foul spirit that has been manipulating that body. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I cast you out and I speak deliverance and wholeness to this person. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory be to God. Just tell him thank you. Father, we thank you. We'll give you praise. If you're watching this broadcast and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is our prayer meeting today. And you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for saving my life. Amen. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you're not going to remain the same. Fitman teachings on YouTube. And every day you can watch me on finishworktv.com. Hallelujah. In the next few days to come, I'm going to announce to you about the, the science and wonder school that is coming. 
is going to be just on the Zoom School of Science and Wonders. I will give you the dates. We'll have Financial Dominion coming up next week. And soon we'll get the flyers. Hallelujah. But I will give you the date. While I was ministering here, the Lord spoke to me, the School of Science and Wonders. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Something is happening. Ooh, something is going to happen. And something is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Something is going to happen. And something is already happening. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Most of you are crossing the river right now. You're crossing the river. 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 Hey, Maluka Mbradesu Baba. You looked at the river a few months ago. He said, I can't swim through this river. You will not swim through it. The Lord will make you win the river. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Ooh, Kaparando Baba Baba Baba. Baba. You will not swim and cross this river. You will watch God part the sea before you. In the name of Jesus. La Komba Yakanda. Melika Brados Ketola Kapam Bradeska Baba Baba. Rondo Seketo Libra Kada Baba Baba. You will not try to swim it into parts like into two and you will walk through it in the name of Jesus. You are crossing over, says the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Because the angels have gone ahead of you to ensure that you have a clearance. Thank you, Lord. This is a word for someone right now. I thought the meeting was over. You know, some people jump off the line thinking we're over. You know, some folks don't even have a clue of what God will be doing the next minute. People don't have a clue. Come on, be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. But since a lot of people don't know how to receive the things of the Spirit, when they hear us making an announcement, they think the meeting is over. Sometimes it's not yet over. Maybe there is a, just an interruption and that announcement came forth. But I see that God is doing something right now. Let me say this to you. You will not swim it. You will cross. You will just walk through it. You're walking through it. You're walking through this process. You're walking through this process in the name of Jesus and hear you the word of the Lord. Expect the manifestation of good news. Thank you, Lord. Expect the manifestation of good news in the name of Jesus. Expect. Expect. Likoma alangro to koya baba. Likondo lombro to kaparindro sketo likamba baba. Expect the manifestation of good news. The Lord said, don't lose your hope even when you don't feel like continuing. Even when you don't feel like to continue, don't lose your hope. Something miraculous is about to happen. This is a prophetic word for someone right now. He said, don't lose your hope that something miraculous is about to happen. Take this word as your rema. Take this word as your rema. Something miraculous is going to happen. There are a lot of people that hear the voice of God, they question it and doubt it. I'm not talking to this people. I'm talking to someone who understands that God is able to exceed expectation. I hear the word of the Lord saying, don't lose your hope that something miraculous is about to happen. Don't lose your hope. There is someone here. You're feeling tired. You're feeling frustrated. You're feeling like running away. But hear the word of the Lord. There's going to be amazing happening. Melinda in the name of Jesus, watch this, watch this. There is a help coming. There is a turn around for you. There is a miracle with your name on it. There is a help coming. There is a turn around for you. There is a supernatural help coming to you, says the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your spiritual life is rising. You're going to pray like never before. You're going to read the word of God like never before. A fresh fire is coming upon your spirit, man. A fresh fire is coming right inside of you right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I didn't see that one coming, but it came. Thank you, Lord. God will give you praise. Hallelujah. You know, when you come to this place, please be careful. Amen. Please be very careful. Be very careful that you don't jump up when God is about to meet you. Thank you. Be very careful. You know, a lot of people are losing out a lot. A lot of Christians are crying because they, they won't wait for God. They're in a hurry. They're making the announcement. He's done. You don't know what he wants to say. Maybe the announcement was to put someone off and then they walk away and then he said it. No, you don't. You got to wait until everything is over to receive because it may be the last minute that God just touched that situation. The last minute. So when you come, always relax. Just relax, wait for him. Hallelujah. One encounter in the presence of God can restore your last 30 years. One encounter. One encounter with God can take you out of debt for life. People don't know what God can do for them in the next one second. This is why when you come to the presence of God, you can hurriedly come in, but don't hurriedly leave. Thank you, Father. You can hurriedly come into the presence of God, but you shouldn't hurriedly leave. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to be back here on Sunday, so I want to encourage you. Tell someone to come on Sunday. We're getting ready for something on Sunday. It's your kingdom assignment. Last Sunday was awesome. You know, Chuck sent me over eight or over six pages that he wrote. I don't know what is going to happen this Sunday. I can't wait for Sunday. So tell someone to come around. Hallelujah. Whatever God leads you to partner with us, you can go to finishworktv.com and give as the Spirit of God will lead you. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. Until I come your way soon, please don't forget this. There is greatness in you, and Jesus is coming soon. Bye-bye.